Okay, okay, we back again with another one, y'all. Episode 5 of Detective Conan. How you feeling, my boy? Okay. Okay, last episode, we solved the riddle of the hidden treasure of the Italian Mafia. We also locked them up, too, without dying as children. How are they getting away with this? There's not much to predict. Obviously, we're going to get into another case. Hopefully, it's a murder mystery because I like those more than the last episode, even though the last episode was still good, though. Let's get right to it. Without further ado, let's get it. The Time Bomb Express. Wait, the Great Bullet Train Explosion. The, the subtitles say something different. Bullet Train Explosion? Conan said, I'm just trying to find my body. I mean, get his body back to normal. You know what I mean. Power kick shoes? <laughs> he got a new upgrade. What? Increasing your kick power. What? Hidden microphone in them. <laughs> this, yo, this show is fire. He's a little, like a tiny inspector gadget, bro. He got like... The voice changing thing, the, the microphone glasses. Now he got the kick of death, bro. Them shoes about to go crazy. How? How are these kids following him everywhere? I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of growing on me. I, I like that they're here. Conan like, bro, let me have a meal. These bad little kids. It's all their fault. Yeah, we gotta find them. Yeah, we gotta hit them with these power kicks. Ain't no way. No, you didn't see they face. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Show me they face. He got the hair. Steal some of those pills. He said, I'm grown. That's not them. Show me they face. What could they be doing here? I don't believe it till I see their face. They mad shady though. Hidden mic, bro. Bro. I, I wish I had my glasses with me, but I don't have it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not prepared. Maybe he'll get a, 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 a gun pipe one day. Put the gum down there. God dang. Yo, leave me alone. I'm on a diabolical case right now. Oh my god. A secret weapon? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I actually do like these kids now. They're kind of like, they're kind of in on what, who Conan is, but they don't fully know Conan is, you know, he's a adult turned kid, but they know Conan's smart. They're like accomplices. A little, well, like well, helpers. Let me see their face. That's not them. <laughs> they wanna be. They wanna be. Oh my god. They over here cosplaying. He has a different case. Did he exchange it? Stimulate my eardrums. That is fire, bro. How did they think of that in like what is this like 1996, bro? This is an old show. That actually exists. Those earbuds exist like that that like vibrates your ear and it's not actually playing out loud. So he can hear it, but like, it's not actually audio playing. That's fire. Okay, what's up? This turned out to be an easy transaction. Look at how quick they are to snitch on themselves in the middle. Like, bro, if you are a professional hitman that done many like transactions, you're not gonna turn to your partner and be like, yo, this was a good transaction this time, wasn't it? No, you're gonna chill the rest of the time because you do this every day. Like, bro, they're just exposing themselves on the train. Inside the black case we handed over was a bomb that'll detonate in 10 seconds after receiving a shock. They dropped the case. It'll blow up? It's set for 310. They'll press it themselves. Oh. Like, why would you say all of that out loud? This is this is plot right here, bro. They they sat down immediately after. And why was he clueless to the entire plan? Like, he didn't know there was a bomb suitcase exchange going down. 
They for real explained the whole plan in their seat of the train. Oh my god. What are we gonna do about this bomb? They just gotta find a suitcase. He said, nah, bro. Come on. <laughs> Without them on board, we gotta find this we gotta find a suitcase. 40 minutes. Alright, this ain't no case. This is life or death. Oh lord. Let's get to work. Nah, you gotta get the kids to help you, bro. Nah, 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 nah. He can't get the kids to help him because it's like a, a light shot will still explode it, they said. Ah, ah, ah. Conan cool, bro. Conan cool. Someone has a bomb. They not about to listen to you. They gonna laugh. Exactly. Look at it. You already know whatever you say next is not gonna be taken seriously. When you bend down like this smiling when I just told you there's a bomb. Conan, just start finding a bomb. They, they're not taking us seriously. Okay. Okay. I hope it blow them up first. There's a ton of black briefcases. And they're not going to let a kid just grab their suitcase. You gotta think, bro. Their conversation. They have a smoke. There's a non-smoking area. Oh, the person doesn't like smoking. Ah! Goodness, I love this kid, bro. He's so smart. Just from that first sentence, finally I can have a smoke. He put together. He's been waiting to have a smoke. That means that when they were doing the meeting, he couldn't smoke. I thought I thought it was maybe it was a non it was a non-smoking area somewhere, and that's where they can look, but it's a person that doesn't like smoke. They need to look for her. Oh, there is non-smoking cars. 100 million just for handing over the case. Information about gold. The last scenic view. God dang, these two idiot villains. They just laid out all the clues to, to solving this, bro. This is the part of the show that's like plot, bro. Like this show is like thousands of episodes long. I'm sure there's plenty of cases where the villains aren't idiots that lay out the entire plot out loud, but these people are stupid. They're stupid. Okay, scenic view, non-smoking car. Oh my God. <laughs> oh shoot. Let's get to it, bro. This is deadly. Him. Not her. Three, four. They can split up. One by one. Oh, this interrogation Conan. Gold Rolex. Can I play a game? Get out of here, kid. Dang. Dang. Are you lost? Nah, bro. I'm investigating. Ah, uh, Mount Fuji. Open the briefcase, Conan. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's locked. Of course. Dang! Bro turned around and hopped over his seat to hit him again. All right, bro. I was already about to say the first hit was too much, but this is overkill, bro. This dude, <laughs> this dude is doing too much. <laughs> That's not even your kid. <laughs> he just go around punching kids. Look at him, look at him ready to punch again at the wrong sentence. <laughs> this dude wildin'. Look! Yo, you know he abusive. He, he yo, <laughs> this dude walling. Oh look, he clutching the briefcase. <laughs> oh 
Disneyland is always fun. They're going to Disneyland? Fire. Come back to him later. It gotta be him. He clutching that, that suitcase. I don't think it's him. It's This is the, uh, to throw us off. Gold rims. Jay Diner. From the dining car. Huh. Kona, you are slick. Oh! Bro! Ten seconds after receiving a large shock. <laughs> he caught it. Nice. How did how did Conan? Okay, let's think of this logically. Conan grabbed the suitcase. He got it yanked out of him and sent that way. How did Conan get to the ground and initiate a jump and get under it before it reached the ground, bro? Conan. You you got you got Godspeed, bro. Oh, you about to get the hands. Look at that. It wasn't even your suitcase. This man is dude. <laughs> I'm thinking this bull about to hit him. No, he walked down the aisle to hit Conan again. <laughs> bro. He got a boxer. He got draws. A whole suitcase of draws. Bro, no. We got like 10 minutes? 14 minutes. I'm jumping off the train. Probably the guy that keep punching him. He probably about to come down the second floor, come to find Conan and just to hit him again. They'll unknowingly press the detonation themselves. By 310. By 310. Somebody's gonna react to it at 310. It could be the businessman because that's like business hours when it ends. He's going to open the laptop, the briefcase, or uh, the detonation button. The lady, what does she have to do at 310? The old man. We don't know much about the old man, though. <laughs> oh, what? Come on, bro. Yo, Conan, can you tell her we about to die? Seven minutes. Okay, Conan, knock her unconscious. Kick her with your shoes. Something, bro. There's only one way to make her believe me. I'll tell her that this is not the time. Listen, bro, we got seven minutes. You need at least five minutes to get into your bag to convince her. And then we have two minutes left, bro. This is not the, the right option. Bro, just run. Just run up there. Is he about to tell her right now? There is no time. I've been hiding from you. Okay. I knew he wasn't gonna tell her. Something happened. He sees face the mountain. Where did she see Mount Fuji from? The dining car. It's the woman? Oh. The bombs in her briefcase? He's saying because in the dining car at the meetup spot. They were sat on the other side where you could see the mountain, not on her side. But I mean, she could have easily looked to the right, the other side through the other window and saw it. But I'm going to just go with it and say he's right. We only got one minute left. As using cellular phones may disturb. Before using your cell phone. The cell phone is the key. They knew that they would say that at 310. <laughs> Look at this man. <laughs> he said food. The phone. Oh my god. How is the debt? Oh my god. Why is the time going so fast? Oh, he had to turn up. Fire. This is this is a cartoon ending, but this is still fire. We saw the kicks in action. Bro, that was the fastest 10 seconds ever, bro. And how did they hook up the detonator to her cell phone dialing digits? I don't I don't know. I don't get that, but 
W for Conan for saving the day. I mean, this is a cartoon ending for sure. Cause like that briefcase has to be like hard and your feet have to be hurting to kick that hard. And then how far it has to be for the explosion not to hurt the train. Even if it did make it that far, we don't care about the building that it, it in the direction it went of the other people we killed but it looked like it just went in the air but you know what i'm saying i'm just getting technical with it that's what i do that's what i do <laughs> all right bro put your leg down look at her detective there you go conan get your name up get your name up there yeah stupid over here buying gold instructions she bought a one-way ticket to death that that was not even a joke <laughs> dang she got arrested they were caught and arrested dang good ending it's the good ending where did the real men in black who shrunk me go i mean they were cosplaying as them you should have asked them we gonna find them we gonna find them conan and I'm gonna be with you every step of the way because you know we not stopping. We not stopping here. So I fully, I fully realize now every episode is not murder. No one's dying every episode. It's literally, it's a puzzle. It's not about death every episode. It's about like using your brain. I still like it. I still like this show. So we're gonna continue it. I like the new gadgets he be getting. This is fire. Thank you for sticking with me on this case. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See y'all next time. Peace.